Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. This time, we're going old school. If you've been with the channel for a long time, you may know that I used to do a whole bunch of videos previewing the upcoming FNAF books. And we're coming back to that tradition today because we got the first 20 or so pages of the first volume of the graphic novel for the Fazbear Fright books. So if you are excited about the upcoming graphic novels for Fazbear Frights, make sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe so when we do get more previews for future FNAF books, you don't miss out on those. And let's kick it off by talking a little bit about the backstory of this book. What stories are in it? When is it releasing? Well, as you can see, this is the cover for FNAF, the Fazbear Frights graphic novel collection volume one. On the front, you can see the plush trap chaser kind of bursting through some board planks probably trying to get to the protagonist the reader whoever is trying to get to the stories in the first volume are into the pit to be beautiful and out of stock and as of right now the release date for the first volume is September the 6th so it's actually coming up pretty soon so now let's actually go through the preview for the official book if you want to look through the preview for yourself or maybe you want to take it a bit slower it'll be linked down in the description down below but this is the first page as you can see it's just the cover of the book next up we we got all of the authors and the illustrators and everyone who worked on the book. Then we have the copyrights, you know, pretty boring stuff. And then we have the cover page for Into the Pit. And finally, turning the page, here are the first illustrations for the book. And it also looks like we have an outline of Plush Trap, you know, the Plush Trap Chaser, which is an awesome detail that I freaking love. As you can see, the first panel has Oswald, the main character, and his dad driving in the car. So yeah, they're driving in the car. Oswald's pretty bummed out because summer's starting, you know, he's getting out of school, and that's boring. But home is also boring too because his best friend Ben has moved away. His dad's talking about what he used to do as a kid, but once again, Oswald's like, yeah, well, I can't really play games because I don't have anyone to play games with. The next panel, you can see Oswald drawing some FNAF characters in a sketchbook on a piece of paper. Looks like you got Freddy, Toy Bonnie, and Chica. And since Oswald's dad has to go to his job he's dropping his son off at the library so his dad drives off and he's going to come pick him up when he's done with his shift at work and oswald is depicted reading drawing all that good stuff but he eventually gets pretty bored as you can see right here so he goes over to get some lunch at jeff's pizza so this is jeff's pizza which as you can see has the time traveling ball pit he's eating some pizza drinking some soda and you know he's still hungry when he's done eating a slice gazing over at the ball pit he will come back to that pretty soon getting up close and then uh what looks to be jeff sneaks up on him with another slice actually a couple slices oh my god that's a steal two free slices of pizza Oh, he's living the life right now. And he's getting more orange soda. Oh my god, this guy's insane. He gets a text from his dad while he's eating. His dad's off work. He'll be out in the front of Jeff's Pizza in about two minutes. And then we cut to later that evening where him and his dad are watching uh, his favorite show. Or I think it's actually a movie. I can't remember. Honestly, it's been a bit since I've read uh, Into the Pit. Ironic right here. How scary could a guy in a suit be? As you're gonna find out later on in the story, Oswald, he could be pretty terrifying, especially if he replaces your dad. So yeah, they're chilling out, they're watching his favorite show, and he eventually heads off to bed. And on the bright side, he's like, hey, you know, that day wasn't so bad. He's tucking himself into bed, looks like he's got a little, <laughs> little Bonnie figure going on there, that's cute. He wakes up, and I'm super glad that this is in the graphic novel, his mom makes the best pancakes. So they're talking, you know, he's eating his pancakes, he's eating his bacon, it seems. Uh, he's still reminiscing about uh losing his friend ben as he moves away and then we get a quick time lapse of him enjoying his summer playing video games eating pizza uh talking to the librarian getting annoyed because pay to win video games are taken over and also still continuing to eat the pizza and this begins a heated argument with his father because oswald wants to watch the brand new uh movie that came out on the streaming services and his dad's like no nah, man we gotta watch the old ones you know the ones i used to watch as a kid and oswald is getting pretty upset at that mom comes in making a joke if they can't you know settle their argument she's gonna put on a romantic comedy which i'm sure neither of them will appreciate and so you know oswald just goes up to his room and ends up drawing and texting ben it looks like in complete juxtaposition ben is having a fantastic summer but they still both you know heavily miss each other and, and desperately wish to hang out and then we eventually go back to oswald and his dad driving in his car looks like he's cranking up the volume to a song and oswald is very grumpy right now and they get into a pretty heated argument it doesn't go so well and so 
that's the end of the preview. Ooh, what a cliffhanger. Yeah, so that is actually the end of the preview. These are all of the pages. Again, if you want to go through and look them on your own, you can either pause the video or once again, it'll be linked in the description down below. Going over it, I just kind of explained what was happening in the panels, you know, without really taking into consideration the, the actual art itself. But I, I want to say, I think it's fantastic. Especially, and I mean, I don't mean any ill intent towards the other artists who worked on graphic novels for FNAF in the past, but this is definitely one of the best ones we've gotten. There are certainly some, you know, panels that have very bland backgrounds, but honestly, I don't mind it that much. As you can tell, the characters themselves are pretty consistent. They're very well drawn, in my opinion. The colors are also uh, pretty spot on, which is awesome. You love to see that. So even though I'm sure this was rushed, as all, or at least most Scholastic products are, especially graphic novels, it's a truly terrible industry. I think this is looking fantastic so far, and I can't wait for it to fully release because I, I, I really want to see now, after seeing this, I want to see To Be Beautiful. I want to see what Eleanor looks like. I want to see Spring Bonnie. I want to see, you know, the plush trap chaser and out of stock. I'm just super excited by seeing these previews. I think the book looks amazing so far, but that is the full preview. And also just in case you did miss it, I do want to talk about the second volume of the Fazbear Frights graphic novels before we wrap up this video. So this is the cover of the second volume of the graphic novels for Fazbear Frights. As you can see, it features the Minarinas from the Room for One More story. The two other stories stories in the second volume are Fetch and also The New Kid. We did show these off in a uh, previous FNAF news video, but again, just in case you missed it, this is the preview page for Fetch. As you can see, it's got Greg kind of brutally beating up the Fetch animatronic. This is the preview page for Room for One More. As you can see, it has who I believe to be Stanley being operated on by uh, the nurse Ballora and also what appears to be a Dr. Minarina. And finally, the preview for the new kid has who I believe to be Devin. I'm just picking that up from the, the very quick summaries of the books of the stories because I have not read Room for One More. I have not read uh, the new kid. So apologies if I, you know, get the names mixed up or don't don't know a certain character but as you can see this preview has again maybe Devin looking into the golden freddy suit in the freddy fazbear's pizza place and it also has bonnie freddy and chica up on the stage and volume two has a release date of march the 7th of 2023 so pretty far away. Well, that's a quick look at the previews for the two upcoming graphic novels for the Fazbear Fright books. Tell me what are your thoughts on the previews? How do you think they look so far? What stories do you want to see adapted into graphic novels next? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.